Good morning, PSAP. I'm Angel. And I'm Lena. And we're here with your morning announcements. Attention Plymouth freshmen. Looking to get involved, have some fun, and give back to the community? The PHS Class of 2028 Student Council will be holding their first meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, September 4th, after school, in Plymouth Room 218C. Hope to see you there. Please direct any questions to Kristen Gunkelman at pccsk12.com. Do you have a passion for engineering topics like programming, fabrication, and computer-aided design? What about business topics like event planning, animation, marketing, and public speaking? Join Lighting Robotics with nine subgroups across both the engineering and business sides. This team has a place for everyone. No experience needed. They meet every Wednesday from 6.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. in the Canton Little Theater. If you are interested in joining, you can stop by the meeting on September 25th or any Wednesday afterward. Email outreachlead at lightningrobotics.com for questions or concerns. PSEP's Indian American Student Association will be holding their first meeting after school on Tuesday, September 24th in the Salem Cafeteria at 2.30. If you are interested in attending fun events, learning more about Indian culture, or participating in a showcase at the end of the school year, attend this meeting for lots of information. Be sure to also follow at, PCC, at PSEP IASA on Instagram. SAD will be meeting on Tuesday, September 24th in room 612 at Plymouth at 7 a.m. Let's take a quick break and go to Devin with your news bit. Good morning, PSEP. This is Devin Collins with your news bit. There is a beloved beluga whale named Vladimir who was believed to be a Russian spy, but was found dead in unnatural circumstances. Vladimir was 13 feet long and weighed 2,200 pounds and traveled along the Norwegian coast, often visiting fish farms and always sought out human interactions. Vladimir went viral multiple times, including finding a kayaker's drop GoPro camera, playing fetch with a rugby ball, and playing with an underwater drone. Even though most people loved Vladimir, some people weren't as kind to him. He had scars from being hit by multiple boats. One whale was given permission by the Norwegian government to take Vladimir to a safer, more natural habitat for beluga whales. But Marine Mine announced on their Instagram that Vladimir was found dead by stating, This morning, after receiving a sighting report from a local, our team arrived to find Vladimir floating peacefully in the water. It is not immediately clear what causes death, but a, ne a necropsy will be conducted to determine his early passing. Vladimir was believed to be 14 to 15 years old when he died, which is half the average life, life expectancy for beluga whale. The Norwegian Veterinary Institute will be conducting a necropsy on Vladimir, which will be released soon. In the meantime, theories and tributes are flooding social media. That's all for your news bit today. Peace up. Have a great day. Photography Club will be meeting in 218C Plymouth High School for the first and third Monday of every month. Anyone will be, or anyone with an interest in photography or looking to earn, learn more is welcome to join. Any questions can be directed to Ms. Gunkelman in 218C Plymouth High School or Kirsten Gunkelman at pccsk12.com. Salem Science Olympiad will meet starting Thursday, September 26th at 2.40 p.m. in Canton Room 144, Miss Banash's room. Calling all Canton sophomores that are interested in joining the Student Council. Please come join us on Thursday, September 26th, right after school in Canton Room 186. If you have any questions, please contact Sarah Street. Let's cut to sports with Stella. What's up, Peace Up? I'm Stella with your sports. Yesterday, the Lions won 20-13 against the Arizona Cardinals. Many injuries occurred during the game, taking out Lions linebacker Derek Barnes, Lions defensive tackle Alan McNeil, Lions safety Brian Branch, and Cardinals tight, Cardinals tight end Trey McBride. In college football, Michigan won Saturday against the University of Southern California in a close game of 27-24, and Michigan State lost against Boston College 19-23. For our high school football, Canton played their homecoming game Friday night against Northville, unfortunately in the end losing 0-54. Salem played Heartland, also losing with a score of 27-34. And finally, Plymouth played Howell, losing with a score of 17-48. That's all for your sports piece up. Have a great day. The doors for all homecoming dances open at 7 p.m. Everyone must have a physical ID, and replacement IDs can be purchased in the home school's main office, and no admittance after 8 p.m. Hello, Canton freshmen. If you are someone who is looking for a way to get involved at school, join the Canton class of 2028 Student Council. Our first meeting is today at 2.30 p.m. in Miss Southwick's room, Canton 219. Join us to learn about ways we can serve our fellow classmates, our teachers, and the entire school community. 
have questions, stop by Ms. Southwick's room for the answers and more information. See you on the 23rd. Let's cut to today's weather with Jackson. What's up, PSAP? This is Jackson Love here with your weather today. Expect high temperatures of 72 degrees today and lows of 59. Additionally, it will be very humid today with a humidity value of 92%. Today's wind speeds are 13 miles per hour and your daily dew point will be 57 degrees. Watch out in the sky tonight. Tonight's moon phase is a waning gibbous. That's all for your weather, folks. Have a great day. Improv Club will be meeting on Mondays in September. You can join the staff of 88.1 The Park, one of the top high school radio stations in the country. Maybe you want to do sports play-by-play -play or work behind the microphone as a DJ. There are also opportunities for students to work behind the scenes on, on the station's promotion staff. And you can learn about news reporting and writing. An online audition application is available at 88.1thepark.com. All applications are due by Friday, September 27th. Now let's cut to today's special feature. Good morning, PSEP. I'm Angel. I'm Joey. And we're here at the Fall Fest. I'm Angel and I'm here with Savannah and how many art shows like this do you do? We try and do one almost every month if not multiples a month. We constantly try and get out there. Okay, that's cool. Um, which one would you say is your most popular piece? My most popular piece would probably be between the Beatles and Prince. We do a really good design for Prince. That's really cool. And how long have you been doing all of this? Since 2001. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long time. My dad is the main designer of all this. He's the handyman. Um, and he's been doing all kinds of different crafts. And we landed in vinyl. That's really cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is a big week in the Career Center with 16 colleges visiting. Included in that list are U of M Dearborn, U of M Flint, Kettering, Northern Michigan, Grand Valley, Kalamazoo, Alma, and Adrian. Be sure to check the Career Center page for exact days and times and register online to get great information about college choices. Hi, I'm with the PSEP girls golf team and today we're going to learn a little bit more about how their season's going. Uh, so can anyone, everyone introduce themselves? Um, I'm Mackenzie. I'm a junior from Salem. I'm Amelia. I'm a junior captain. I'm Lucy. I'm a senior captain from Canton. I'm Kayla. I'm a senior captain from Plymouth. I'm Annie and I'm a junior on Plymouth. Alright, so how is everyone's season going so far? Um, it's been really good. We've improved a lot over the season. We're doing pretty good too. We've improved a lot and we've really just grown closer as a team. Uh, yeah, we've improved as well. We won Park Champs, yes, or not yesterday, last Friday, so yeah. And then what was your guys' favorite match of the season? Um, our favorite match was probably Novi because we were predicted to lose that one, but we ended up uh, pulling together as a team and winning in the end. My favorite match was probably our senior night because we got to have cupcakes and snacks after. Oh, um, I think our favorite match was probably Northville. That was when a lot of our players had their like personal bests, and we saw a lot of improvement. 
All right, thank you for letting me interview you guys, and I hope you guys all have a good season. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. That's all for your announcements, PSAP. Have a great day.